Greetings. Had a breath here because I just ran three miles uphill on the Illinois River Trail to check out Buzzard's Roost, this big rock outcrop that's sticking up here, just stucking out off the side of the mountain here amongst all these burn trees. Let's uh, take a little walk back down to the saddle between the two. Now, according to the map, it's just under a thousand feet high. And on the subject of the map, I use, <clears throat> excuse me, maps.me for offline navigation and unfortunately it's not very good for that I'm finding because it says that the saddle here between the roost and the mountain itself eventually you get up to I believe it's Strawberry Mountain there it says that to, from my campsite at Oak Flat Campground don't camp there it's very sketchy uh, it says that it's 1100 feet to right here by this tree and yet that is only a thousand feet above sea level. <laughs> so I'm kind of going, mm, no, this has to be below a thousand feet right here. So who knows how high up you actually go to get above the Illinois River way up here. And there's the river looking down. Look at this vista. And I'll bet it's even better up on the roost if I can get up to it. And I know it's Buzzard's Roost because someone put a sign up here that says Buzzard's Roost. And of course the map told me what it was. But the trail winds down, down, down. You can just about way down there where my finger's touching. That's a big open area called Oak Flat, and maybe like a half mile this side of it is, or a mile or so, is the actual uh, campground itself. And it's not a very nice place to camp, I'm sorry to say. In the summer, there's a lot of sketchy people there. And in the winter, it is bitterly cold. Everything was a sheet of ice this morning. Let's see, I'm sure other people have gone. So we're going to adventure up here a little bit. Let's see what we can find. Oh, ouch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's see. Look at this rock. It's just nothing but pebbles. That means it can fall apart on you real easy. So we want to be careful here. Whoa. High step. Ooh. Okay. And it's a bit vertical, so you don't want to fall. This looks like a pretty obvious little path right here. Go up. Yeah, there's steps and handholds. You never know, maybe there's a cache or something up here. Ooh. There we go. Woohoo! Way up here now. Wow, look at all these dead trees from the fire. And we're not that far below the snow line. You can see the snow's right there. Let's go through. Woo! The second time I've come up this way this week. And the first time sure kicked my butt and I was, my glutes were sore. Whew, we are pretty darn vertical here. Okay, looks like we just kind of step around here. Maybe we poke through these bushes. I'm making it up, yeah, that's a little path. There's a way through. <laughs> ah, <laughs> right in the eye. Oh, this is tough. I'm basically crawling on my hands and knees. Ay, ay, ay. Look at all this manzanita. This is the worst. Manzanita is the worst to try to punch through. It, it resists your every effort. Okay. I guess. Ooh, well, I'm not going that way. Goodness. Um, I guess maybe through this way. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm not very happy about this little adventure all of a sudden. It's getting sketchy. Ooh. Yeah, you fall from here and you're done, done, done. Well, I can still go. I went up on the rabbit ears, which was even sketchier, but see, there's frost right there. That's frost. There could be slippery sections here. Okay, this is doable. Including, whew, I'm still winded from running uphill. <sighs> Including one-handed here. It's definitely putting these uh, new Northside sandals to the test. Courtesy of Northside Footwear Company, hand sandals. So far, they're holding up, but... I just started breaking them in. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, don't fall here. You will not survive. Holy crap. Well, this, this, uh, I don't like this. Got to come back through here on my knee. Okay, it's a little better. Woo. If you're afraid, afraid of heights, do not try this. Wow. I can see frost all along this dark hillside. Now, along the trail, there were numerous sections that were frozen. The trail's like right here, and it winds on down there. Wow. 
Okay. This rock is very, very interesting. It's not a rock, it's a million little rocks. There's a reason for that. It's because this used to be ocean floor. This whole landscape out here used to be seafloor, and now it's mountains. <laughs> it's not the only place in Oregon, Oregon where you can find something like that. You can go pretty far east and still find serpentine landscapes. Here we are, ah, we made the top, ha ha ha. We did it, woohoo! We're on the top of Buzzard's Roost, and you can see, if you were a buzzard, this wouldn't be a bad place to roost. There's kind of an overhanging rock there. Wow, holy cow. This is amazing up here, this is so cool. I'm glad I braved the sketchy spots. The ghost trees from the fire, that could have been the Biscuit Fire. Biscuit Hill is where it started off in, I think that direction, excuse me. Still burping up my lunch. Nothing like a belly full of quinoa to fuel you up the trail. Wow, and looking down to the Illinois River. And of course it's mid-December, so we're up here after the ants have gone underground for winter. So we can enjoy the outdoors, ant-free, sit down anywhere, and you don't have to worry about them crawling all over you. But man, it, it was bitterly cold the last few nights. A sheet of ice on everything. And I'm, holy wow. I wish you could see down in there. It's just this like slot canyon almost. I see sheer walls going right down to the water. And it's very rocky and steep right there. Whoa. I wonder if I could maybe shield the camera here. Ah, the exposure's no good. This phone does not let you adjust exposure pretty much or pretty much do anything other than start and stop video. And even then, <laughs> I've lost some uh, what I thought were great videos when the phone decided to just not record. Boy, the snow is right there. No wonder we're so cold. There's all this cold air filtering down through the canyons here. Wow, buzzards roost. And you can just about make out the river down here. I can see somewhat of the color. It's got that greenish color like you would expect from a serpentine influence. You'll see like the Elk River north of us, the Smith River south of us, the Illinois River, the Rogue River. They can all have that tinge to it thanks to the serpentine that's in the all through this landscape here. Thanks to it formerly being out there under the ocean. <laughs> and even this used to be under the ocean and you know, all the way out at, by the town of John Day, the Aldrich Ma Mountains out there, 200 million years ago, those were under the ocean, you know, so, you know, the Cascades didn't used to exist, Oregon used to be a big half ocean, you know, really interesting, but gosh, the view is just stunning, ah, I love it, so cool, so pretty, and behind us here, as I pan around, somewhere out here, you start getting into the Calmeopsis Wilderness, uh, where I've taken you, I think one time I at least took you out there, along the Illinois River Trail on the east side and coming from the east side it's a lot longer <laughs> to get out here to buzzard's roost so if you're gonna try to come out here i'd say definitely try from the oak flat side <laughs> it's a little bit shorter of a hike but you're gonna be uphill the entire way and when i went around the corner the other day i saw the trail just went right back down and i'm like oh geez <laughs> so it doesn't matter which way you come from you got to go uphill to get to this but oh there's just a million madrones all over the place there's manzanita you gotta love the, the madrone with its beautiful bark. It just is so cool, S super smooth. It looks sanded smooth, beautiful stuff. Oh man, what a landscape, what a vista. And I caught it just in time. I was hoping to not get out here before the sun went too far over there so you could actually get a little light on some of the side of it here when I was just over there. Wow, really neat stuff. But I still have a bit of a hike or a, sorry a run ahead of me and i'm uh, gonna have to get on back down the hill still got a, a good three and a half miles to go so but it's at least downhill almost the entire way so you know there is a little bit of a saving grace there and i'm definitely not wanting to be leaving my vehicle and my campsite unattended at a somewhat you know insecure location so gotta get going i'd love to just hang out here i mean after being so cold this sun feels fabulous it's warm i'm not even slightly cold i was frigid on some parts of the, the run up here there was big sections of ice <laughs> coming around some of these north facing you know sort of little gullies with streams in them it was just like icy trail and i'm like brr but now huh it's just beautifully warm you could just sit here and just bask in it i love it i love it i love it i love the sun and of course next week the summer so the, the winter solstice the winter solstice unfolds on us and the sun starts to come back yay but uh gosh i wish i could come up here 
I wish I should come up here in the summer because there's a huge like crack here that goes way up and this almost comes into like a slot. That's some really rugged landscape. And even on the east side, uh, the landscape is very, very rugged over there, over near uh, Cave Junction and Kirby and so forth. Especially when you start coming down 199, it's uh, that whole canyon coming down the Smith River and passing through Cave Junction. You start seeing some really rugged landscape. Go up the Illinois River, or sorry, down the Illinois River from, I think it's Kirby or Selma, somewhere in there. Maybe it's Selma. You see some super rugged landscape, which is amazing that they actually were out here doing mining <laughs> before there was such a thing as helicopters, vehicles, airplanes. You know, you were out here with a pack mule on foot. So you got to be tough if you're going to come out in a landscape like this. A lot of uphill, a lot of steep stuff, and it's really crumbly and eroding. And man, but a really spectacular, spectacular vista. Really great 360. You can see the whole all around you. Really good stuff. But uh, got to get going. So I uh, definitely appreciate you joining me here up on Buzzard's Roost out here in southwestern Oregon along the Illinois River and the Illinois River Trail after the ants have gone underground for winter to enjoy this beautiful, beautiful vista on this lovely, lovely, sunny, sunny, warm winter day.